Two dozen middle and high school girls are providing a pretty good lesson in getting things done. The sport they wanted to play didn't exist in their two towns. In our last minute tonight, how becoming a team was their own little miracle on ice. Hey, hey. Girls playing hockey. It's not exactly breaking news, but it's how the girls hockey team from West and East Bridgewater made it to the ice that is cool. Rachel Smith is from West Bridgewater. I went to the principal last year with two other girls from West Bridgewater. And Brooke Lydon is from East Bridgewater. At first, like we didn't think we'd have enough players, so we combined with West Bridgewater. Both towns have boys hockey, but neither had girls hockey. And figure skating wasn't going to cut it. I was actually a figure skater for one year before I was a hockey player. But, like, I didn't really like figure skating. Hockey. That's what 27 strangers, half of whom have never played, wanted. We started it, but the school really finished it for us. With an assist from their parents, who raised $30,000, and an assist from their new coach, who played college hockey. A true team effort. They hosted events, they got the word out, they recruited players. And 16 days after their very first practice, Wednesday night they had their first home game. Score. Hopefully future generations of like girls want, want to play hockey. I like that attitude. Future that's generations great. of girls. They played Duxbury tonight. They didn't win, but that's okay because they knew they wouldn't be a winning program like right off the bat.